Man, it's got around. OG7 back here. And today, like each and every day, we're fortunate to be alive and above ground. I'm going to share with you guys some stories of victory and glory. Some stories from my own personal experiences. Some stories that I've observed from others. And some stories that I happen to hear the horrific end of the, the, the situation. And I want to share with you this so you can detour from these situations. And the glory of understanding, especially to you youngsters, man. You can learn things in life three ways. You can learn from your own personal experience. You can learn from the experiences of others. Or you can learn from hearing about the experiences of others. I would suggest, man, you try to learn from other people's experiences. That way you live to be in touch with your inner animal, which is beast mode law. And you have the conviction to be willing to stand and fight and even die, giving your very last breath to defend what you believe in. Without further ado, guys, we're going to get into the topic of today's video, which is in maximum security prison, get into a love triangle as a death sentence. I want to share this with you guys because uh, some of you guys comment about why I'm talking about celebrities and, you know, oh, man, you know, real men don't talk about celebrities and this and that. Man, you know what? The reason that you talk about celebrities is because celebrities influence most of you guys' lives. 80% of you guys, man, are sheeple, meaning that you don't have, you're like a, you're like a ship without a rudder. You don't have a direction in life. You don't have a goal. You don't have a purpose. You don't have a path. How do I know? Everywhere I go, I see youngsters stuck to their phone like it's an appendage. All you do is live vicariously through other people on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. You're a digital generation. I just read a report saying that the, the younger generations, whether it's Generation Z, Y, X, P, L, Q, whatever, you guys are more comfortable in the digital world because you don't have the tools necessary to live in the analog world. The world that we Kel Crow Magnum cavemen dudes came up in. Where you go outside and play, you go in the jungles in the forest, you go mountain climbing, you go explore caves. You go forth and you conquer unknown lands. No, you don't know about that. You just know how to go, oh, snap. And oh, look at that. Now I'm sharing, making videos viral. Why is this important, guys? Because in this life, when you see about situations like, you know, Will Smith with his entanglement, or, you you know, Megan the Stallion and their entanglement, and then the dude that shot Megan the Stallion, and then all these rappers and stuff. And what's the one, uh, what's the other, Cardi B? and her entanglements. Like, you guys watch all these famous people and the Kardashians and all that, and you, you're thinking that it's all about, you know, having multiple partners and, and being caught up in the love triangle. Well, I'm here to share with you, as above, so below. What that means is this, guys. <clears throat> you might follow these people on the street, you, you think that's cool to do that, but this is the quickest way to go into maximum security prison because, dude, if you're messing with somebody who's already in a relationship with a somebody else, what you don't understand this, and I'm not trying to be uh, politically incorrect, but what you don't understand this, women cheat more than men, dude. It's mostly women who initiate the cheating. Why? Most women are what's called alpha, alpha widows. What's an alpha widow? When they're young and beautiful, and you know, it's just to keep this video PG, I'm just going to keep it a buck. And a lot of countries outside the United States, the age of consent is 16. So to keep it a buck and keep it real with you, man, globally, the woman's peak years is between the ages of 16 and 26. What does that mean? They don't just live a hot girl summer. They live a hot girl decade. All the men want them for one reason. They're a blossoming flower. They're a, they're a, they're a really ripe fruit. They're, they're plucked for the taking because they're young, dung, and innocent. They're just little girls in a woman's body. They just want to have fun. And they give in to their emotions and the proclivities to do, do anything that feels good. How is that pertinent to this video? Man, young girls, man, they go after these offers, these tall, strong, swole dudes with money, like mostly NBA, NFL players, Major League Hockey, all these athletes, football players, soccer players, the dudes that got money and the looks. <clears throat> but these dudes ain't trying to be tied down. They got options, as Andrew Tate says, so they just blowing their backs out. But here's the problem for you regular guys. Now that they've been with a dude who's a 10, they believe that they're a 10 because they got their back blown out. This one I want to share with you guys. Just because a dude that's a 10 or a high-status male or a high-status alpha male 
blows a girl's back out doesn't mean that he wants to keep her in a relationship. He's just trying to bust his nuts, sow his wild oats. And here's where the problem comes in. <clears throat> now she's a single mom and she got a kid by this dude. This dude don't want to be tied down. He's like a bee just hopping from flower to flower, spreading his seed. But now she realized she made a mistake because now she's not 26, she's 36. There's a big difference. She didn't hit the wall. And here's the problem, dude. Now she goes out and marries a beta male, gets another kid by him, Ergo Russell, Russell Wilson, Ergo Sierra. Those of you guys talking about him hating on him, man, shut the fuck up, youngster. I'm trying to lace you with some game, dude. Most of you guys is beta males. How do I know? If you're not in the NFL, the NBA, dude, or MLB, or you playing for um, the American Soccer Professional League, European Soccer, you're not a famous movie star, or actor, dude, or dancer, or singer, or anything like that. You're just an average Joe. And I'm telling you, in the age of Instagram thoughts, these hotties, as you call it, they only want the top 2% of the men. This is what they fantasize about. This is what they crave, dude. It's just like when you thirst and you crave water. They thirst for these dudes. This is where thirst trap comes in. They trying to thirst trap these dudes. They, they catch you in their Venus fly trap because you're a beta. And this is what they say. Oh, well, until Chad comes around or Buff or Biff or Tyrone or Hernando, until they come around, I'll set up for this beta male who's kissing my behind and buying me stuff. And he's willing to accept me as a single mom. Heck. He's even willing to give me another baby and lock me, lock his ass down in marriage. And he's footing my lifestyle. He's buying me a house and a car. And he's he's uh, he's bankrolling my lifestyle. I'm jet set and get my back blown out by alphas because all they want, they're there for a short time and a fun time, not a long time. And here you are, beta male. You all in love, nose wide open. You think she loves you, bro. And you don't know that while you're at work, she's getting blown out. Look on YouTube, Google what happens to dudes when they're at work and their wives, their wives are, are at home, a stay-home mom, or even if your wife works somewhere with another alpha. So then here's what happens, guys. You come home from work early one day or you put a phone tracker on your girl and you find out, dude, she's cheating on you, dude, and you love her. And you find out she's just been using you. Now you're going to experience a crime of passion because I'm going to tell you something, dude. That's why they say love hurts. And that's why when you're in a relationship, you must be the one who loves the least. Because if you love the most and you're loving a woman, dude, you're always going to lose, bro. Women are very fickle. One day they love you, one day they hate you. But one thing they know for sure, if a woman respects you, dude, she will not cheat on you, dude. And she will not play games with you because she knows she respects you. And you have, the, you have the ability, dude, to give her some wrath so she's knowing. So here's what happened. You come home early from work. And Chad's just blowing her back out. And he's doing things to her with his mighty python you can never imagine. And it just breaks your little heart because you're not, you're not, you're not the dude from Jumper 22. You're not the dude from No Jumper. You're not a cuckold. You loved your wife. And all this time you didn't know she was getting her black one out. So then you just take your golf clubs and you bash dude's head in. You bash his head in, dude. And a crime of passion. And then you go to the pen. And here's what happens, man. Your wife, man, she moves on, dude. She drains your bank account, dude. She doesn't get you a lawyer. You're in maximum security prison, so here's what happens. You have that same beta male mentality. You believe in these love triangles, the entanglements, but see, a maximum security prison is different, dude. If a lifer that's in there for double life, triple life, natural life, has a girlfriend, dude, that's his woman, and let's be clear, this is a male prison, but the weak guys in prison become women, bro. That's their lot in life. And this dude is in love with this. They call it a punk or a boy. Or for those of you who are new to prison genre, he's a bottom boy pillow biter. His booty's in the air getting blowed out every night. These lifers be in love with these dudes. Why? Number one, they ain't never getting out. And number two... They make dude look, you know, they make dude appear like he's a woman. They start making him wear his hair long, put Kool-Aid on his lips and, and, his, and, and, and his cheeks like eyeshadow and stuff. They make him switch around and say, girl, and get real feminine. And when men get, when you get semen in your butt a lot, your butt cheeks get big and juicy, right? So now that's his woman. That's his wife. And so here you come in fresh off the street. And here's where 
I want you guys to understand prison psychology, maximum security prison. When you've been in maximum security prison behind the wall for, it's a 20 and 4 lockdown. For 10, 5, 10, 15, 25, 30 years, it gets redundant. So when the new meat, fresh meat comes in, you got new stories. You got a new look. You can tell them what's going on in the street, not from TV, but from your experiences. You're the new storyteller. Everybody wants to know you, so you're higher status. And let's say you got some skills like me. You're not going to be nobody's bitch warmer, nobody's bottom boy. You can throw them things, right? So now you got respect and clout. I'm not saying you're a shot caller, but you know, people respect you, handle your business. Sometimes, dude, these lifers' wives or girlfriends, I'm talking about in prison, they're boys or they're punks. They are attracted to you, bro. They're tired of getting the same baloney pony, like human beings, like variety. So then dude approaches you on the DL like the movie, um, the movie Undisputed. He approaches you on the DL like, hey, I really like you. Would you let you want to like me? And then, you know, you've been in there five years, man, and, you know, you're remorseful because you you killed the dude and you horny because you like busting nuts. And this dude's looking like a woman. You go up and do, man. And then it becomes a regular thing because once you start going up in this butt, dude, you busting nuts. It's a stress reliever. You want to want to do it regularly. Human beings are creatures of habit. Now there's a problem because now you got an entanglement with a lifer's wife. And even if you got life as well, you ain't been down in the belly of the beast 10, 20, 30, 40 years. You fresh off the street, man. Those entanglements right there will cost you your life because, man, that's a death sentence. Entanglement in maximum security prison gets your wig split because, dude, it's none of this. Hey, man, you better stop messing with my woman and all that, like on the street. Hey, man, that's my wife, man. Don't mess with her anymore. Hey, Vato, hey, Holmes. This is my Haina, Holmes. So no mas, Holmes. You know, no mas, halto. No, they ain't talking to you. Once the, the homies tell you, hey, when you went to work at the meat cutting plant or you went to work in the wood shop plant or you went to work in the kitchen, I seen your wife or your boy, your punk, go up and do sell. And all I heard was, ee, 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 ee. oh, daddy, do it. Man, dude's going to go get a bone crusher, man, and next unlock, bro. I don't know if he's going to come in your cell. He's going to catch you in the yard. But there ain't no talking, bro. And he's going to split your wig open and go deep up in you with the bone crusher. And as your life leaves your body, you're going to remember this. Oh, gee, so back to open up to do that. So if you guys like this video, man, thumbs up the video. Leave a comment for the algorithm. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel and share the channel. So until next time, oh, gee, so back.